Hey there, uh, here we are in the Ocho Verde jungle. Here we are. I wanted to show you a, uh, a cool lizard. Um, they're not super common, but they are around, and they seem to be easier to find at night than in the day. Uh, some kind of weird lighting thing we got going on. Anyway, I'm gonna switch the camera around. And there we go. This is the uh, helmeted basilisk. Uh, it is a pretty cool lizard. They're almost like those uh, true chameleons in that they're so slow moving. Pretty difficult to use the... There we go. You see how they sleep on these little trees like this. One thing cool about them is that uh, at nighttime they seem pretty docile. Over the years we've uh, pet quite a few of them. Let's see if I can pet this one. Ooh. It's getting kind of feisty. I've never seen one open its mouth before like that. That was pretty cool. Let's see if we can get him to do it again. There we go. Look at that guy. Excellent. This is a medium sized one. I've seen them much bigger than this. Usually the bigger ones are the females. This one could be a male. It looks like he's got a fairly clear dewlap. Um, beneath his mouth there. He's got a strange black spot right here. I'm not exactly sure what that's about. They're uh, food of uh, certain snakes. I think that the red-eyed tree snake is one of the snakes that would feed on them pretty regularly. They're a little bit big, too big for the blunt head tree snakes or the uh, cat eye snakes. Let's see what we can get this one to do. Oh, they love to swing around to the back side of the, the plant. Look at that guy. I'm not exactly sure what the helmet's all about. It probably has something to do with uh, prevention of uh, being swallowed by certain small headed snakes is a guess. That's a pretty big uh, head to swallow, but the rest of the body is fairly normal sized for a lizard living in this forest. Look at that guy. Helmeted basilisk, common resident here in the Ocho Verde forest. Stay tuned for more videos. Oh my god, that is so cool.